How's it going guys, Yuri here. Uh, today I want to share with you seven yoga poses and five quick fixes or five second quick fixes for each one. And again, I'm not a yogi, but when you understand biomechanics and how the body works, it's pretty easy to see where some corrections can be made. So I'm going to jump right into the poses. First one is warrior two. Okay, so this is the position for warrior two and the fix here is we want to do our best to draw this knee back so it's in line with the big toe. Sometimes because we have tight groins, the knee ends up going inside. So work on bringing this back just like that. Okay, next one we're going to do is a flow, a vinyasa flow. And it's really important here to keep the elbows tucked in. Some people when they do push-ups, elbows are tucked out, but we don't have good torque and stability around the shoulders when we do that. So. We want to keep the elbows tucked in, okay? So the, this little crevice pointing forward. Down, up, and back, okay? Not out to the side, keep it tucked in like that, okay? It's gonna be a lot more stable for your, uh, for your shoulders, a lot better for your movement overall as well. Next, we're gonna do runner's lunge. One of my favorite positions that I never really do because I like to get more of a hip flexor stretch. So runner's lunge, Typically we come up and we kind of stay in this position, okay? So here's the fix you want to do. Drive this back knee up towards the sky and make sure the back heel is right above the toe. So you're not pushed back like this, but you're there. Fully extended, nice and strong, okay? Whether you have your hands on the knees or whatever, make sure that back leg is as straight as you possibly can have it. Next, we're gonna do thread the needle and I'll demonstrate from the side here. So you have a couple options. One is to pull back like this, okay? But a lot of people, when they do that, they end up losing integrity in their spine. So you can actually keep your foot on the ground, push the knee away from you, stay tall in the spine, and make sure both of your hip bones are pressed into the floor. Just by focusing on that, you're gonna get a really nice opening in the piriformis on the right side there. So from this side, I'm gonna push this forward, I'm driving my hips into the floor and I'm not doing anything. I'm not coming up and I'm not rounding my back. I'm getting a really nice stretch right through that left hip capsule, right in there. That's a good one. Okay, next, we're gonna come up onto our feet. We're gonna go to Crescent Moon. This is my most, sorry, my least favorite exercise because it's the most challenging for me. So here, we're gonna bring the hands up Interlace the fingers like James Bond, okay? Here, we wanna inhale and exhale to the side. Now, from the side, what this should look like is not this, and this is my difficulty, is I have very limited shoulder range of motion. So your shoulders should be in line with your ear, ideally. So up here, really focus on this gap in your, in your hands, close that out, okay? Nice to the side, squeeze the glutes, making sure you're not twisting, so you're nice and square, nice and flat. As you twist to the side, really focus on keeping both arms straight, closing out those hands, and doing the best you can with that pose. It's difficult, at least for me, and if you've got you know, tight shoulders, you probably feel the same way as well. Finally, we're gonna do tree pose. So tree pose, you can go foot on the, on the calf or up into the thigh, Hands come up to the heart. What you want to do here is focus on getting this guy and open that out. As you do that, brace the core, tilt your tailbone under a little bit to activate the glutes and really strengthen that stance. So open this up. You're going to contract your glute on that side, nice and tall, and stay engaged. Okay? So those are a couple of quick fix solutions to some of the most common poses in yoga. Um, again, it's not about perfection. It's about doing the best you can within your range of motion. And hopefully these help you out. Go to the link below, to check out the blog post. Join me over there for awesome stuff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.